Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm still waiting. A couple of you not join, you know. So just you know, uh, welcome. Today we are doing second lesson on business environment unit two. So that's your unit, business environment. Today we are going to learn about. LO2 and uh, our discussion will be focused about LO2. So explain how market structure determine the pricing and output the CN of the business. Illustrate the way in which the market forces shape the organization response. Judge how the business and the culture environment shape the business behavior. When we look further down, and uh, we'll go. Hello um, to all about understanding the nature of the national environment in uh, which businesses operate. So explain how the economic system attempt all the resources effectively assess the impact of fiscal and monetary policy. So today our major discussion will be on the fiscal and monetary policy. Anybody knows what is meant by fiscal? Fiscal policy is the policy of the government and monetary policy of the central bank so which I'll go through with you in more detail impact of the competition and other regulatory mechanism on the activities of a selected organization the organization you can select you know like I have uh, included the case of McCann's food which you can go through the case study as well and we'll go through during our lesson so these are all the key points will be focused in our discussion how economic system allocate the resources effective use of distribution of resources supply demands matching types of economic system situation command free enterprise mixed transitional and all gdp gnps public finances and all discussion will be focused how impact on the monetary and fiscal policies and organization behaviors consumer behaviors so our discussion will be and uh, we'll go through some sort of legislation as well competition commission you may be recently heard about asda and um, in the uk asda and sainsbury those are quite big you know supermarket they're going to merge it and um, competition commission act you know and the com competition commission is looking you know how this will be create a monopoly because monopoly is always against you know monopolistic competition is always monopolistic is only few firms control it that's you know is quite harm for the organization so that's we need to look around we'll go through some sort of you know these legislations as well company act o of gem is called office of um, the gas and electricity market which will go through as well our discussion will be depend upon the nature of the organization which sector or which company you're working and uh, we need to look around the legislation those are relevant to them so please if any question you can drop me emails today we are doing second lesson and i'm recording this lesson as well so second lesson welcome everyone and then um, let's will start so as you know, couple of my name is Anjum Sathar is my email address. The unit title we are delivering is called business environment and let's will move next now. What do we know about the economics environment, fiscal and monetary policy? Anybody knows about the economics environment? Okay. So during our last lesson, we'll discuss about pest and the pestal forces, which is political, economic, social, and technological environment. Further, now we are focusing and looking more in detail economic environment. Under economic environment, we're looking fiscal and monetary policy in detail because our major learning outcome two assessment criteria, uh, 2 assessment criteria 2.1, 2, and 3 is all about you know the focus key focus is on the fiscal and monetary policy and the business activities so which will go through okay what is meant by business the organization effort of individual to pr produce and sell for a profit the goods and services that the satisfy the society needs so we call it is a business so business is all about satisfying the needs yes 
society needs so seek to make a profit so business have an objective to seek the profit through the individual working toward the common goal first provide a service to, uh, product or the good that meets the needs of the society so we need to look around meet the needs of the society so is a wider interest of the public is the business so if the business is doing in their just in their own not a good so we need to look around we need to look around the business interest okay so as a welfare of the society for the sake of you know the few businessmen becoming millionaire yes so we we can earn the profit no harm of it but we need to look around the best interest of the wider public so business and organization are the economic system where the goods and services are exchanged for one another or the uh, or for money so every in the past you know we used to be a barter system where goods and good and services exchange with the good and services but now of course you know more acceptable is the money we give and we can uh, get the goods so every business requires some form of investment and enough customer to home output can be sold on the consistently basis in order to make a profit a business can be provide private on business can be private on not for the profit at the state owned and example of the corporate business is a pepsi co that's a public limited so we can go through as well anybody any question so what's happened with these companies big w's peacock and various other these are liquidated due to the economic system within a business and economic situation that lead them to be out of the business so we need to be understand the economics environment is quite crucial to understand if you want to be sustained in a business so when we looking the economics environment economics environment we looking the fiscal policy fiscal policy is a policy of the government where government can inject more money government can withdraw the money from the economy government can increase or decrease the taxes within a uh, within a economy and like you know the we direct indirect taxes last lesson i have mentioned as well value added tax vat uh, sale tax so we used to be 15% and 17.5 now we have a 20% so direct indirect taxes always you know is controlled by a government spending borrowing and always this government uh, conservative government is cutting more and to want to reduce deficit of the budget so that's the policy the fiscal policy of current government so when we looking inflation and deflation you i think so you all well aware of inflation mean the persistent increase in the price index deflation mean the persistent decrease in the price index monetary policy is the policy of the central bank in some country we call state bank so we can uh, control the circulation supply and demand of the money supply and demand so if we have a high demand of the money if we don't have a supply then of course you know the the currency value will be very very high and the exchange foreign exchange rate can be very high so we need to look around to meet the economy's need we produce the notes and the currency the according to the requirement and by keeping in view of the reserve you know foreign currency gold reserve and the balance of payment so these will will go through more details in for this slide employment rate within country that's we need to look around under economics environment unemployment rate we significant drop in uk like you know the 4% less than 4% it used to be 6 7% unemployment so unemployment lower mean always good it mean boosting the economic activity welfare consideration we need to look around regional industrial policies we need to look around business cycle business is at boom state at the uh, the recovery stage and those stages you know which we'll discuss during this lesson as well anybody any question gross domestic product is mean the national income so which will go through for the slide anybody any questions so feel free and drop me email if you just you know listening and watching this lesson so economics environment consists of the external factor in a business market and the broader economy that can influence the business that can be divided the economics environment into micro economics uh within within a country and micro is a big you know we looking in all the so micro and micro 
during our last lesson as well i mentioned you the micro in environment influence and the broader economic factor that either direct or indirect affect the entire economy and all participants including your business these factors include the interest rate tax inflation foreign currencies consumer uh, and uh, income saving rates and consumer confidence level unemployment rate recession dip uh, so all these of you know these things is come under the micro economics environment when we look in the micro economics micro means small we looking the within a within a country in the small scale uh, so micro and macro so first we looking so guys if you want to uh, listen and the difference between micro and micro environment slow economy so just a quick you know show you sorry my computer's a bit running slow so let's uh, copy this link i'll just want to demonstrate you so if you copy this link and copy this link in search box so you can watch this video is quite good you know is what happened why the slow economy how in the economic system is linked with each other um, one country slow economy how impact on the other so when we look in the micro in environment micro economics environment so it's quite good to be because it can it can different economies of the world is quite linked you know it's only 1 minute and 37 seconds this video
Okay. So guys, everyone, you know, if you really want to be find more information, always consult, you know, World Bank data that will help you to further understand, you know, in detail. So fiscal policy is a government revenue taxation and the spending policy designed to counter the economic cycle in order to achieve the lower unemployment, achieve the lower or uh, no inflation and achieve the sustained sustain but control economic growth in recession the government stimulate the economy with the deficit spending expenditures exceeding revenue during the period of the expansion then restrain a fast growing economy with the higher taxes and aims to be surplus revenue exceed the uh, expenditures uh, one of the great scholar Keynesian theory Keynes uh, Maynard Keynes, also known as the Keynesian economics, and this theory is basically states that government can influence the microeconomics productivity level by increasing or decreasing decreasing the tax tax levels within a country, uh, public spending uh, by pub, cutting the public spending will slow down the economy, like which is happening in the UK now to cover the deficit, but Labour have a different thought on other uh, political parties in UK. So we need to look around these, you know, have a consequences. So when we're looking the fiscal policy, so fiscal policy, we're looking the government spending, economic activity, low employment rate, government spending, capital expenditure. What is meant by capital expenditure? Capital expenditures mean any asset which we are buying it, like land, building, infrastructure we are developing, like, you know, during recession even, we're injecting more money, your uh, road, your big projects, you know, and those are called capital expenditures. But in the long run, that will help to boost the economic situation, economic activities within a country. So borrowing, of course, you know, we borrow the money sometimes in the fiscal to settle the fiscal policy and government inject more money to be protect the jobs, even the in the credit crunch 2008, you know, and the Northern Rock initially government injected money and various banks, you know, to protect their the jobs and the economy so government policies these are always you know like a steel um uh, tata steels and various others when in the past you know the government jump in and injected some money and they make some commitments so always we need to look around these things these are ultimately leads depend upon the nature of the industry which we are in so uh, the budget deficit annual uh, difference between the government spending and the taxes the uk government run the budget deficit each year that in 2007 8 and that was the 40 million just over three percent of the gdp then they tried to reduce it noise around and still is the difference and so government spending and the government tax revenue there is a difference you will see by this graphs as well and government through fiscal policy try to adjust it these differences is the gap you know between unemployment of course that will impact as well unemployment can be a bit higher it can be lower when in government injecting or spending more money anybody any question so fiscal policy is a tax spending reads increase in government spending, inflation, decrease in government spending, increase in taxes, and what impact will be on the inflation and real output. So anybody's increase in government spending, increase in inflation, and the real output can be up. So decrease in government spending, decrease the inflation, and down the real output. Increase the taxes, the inflation and down the real output decrease the taxes increase the inflation and real output can be increased so these are the measures really government in uh, government can be you know what impact can be so we need it's a clear indicator that the inflation and the real output real productivity can be up and down by just you know 
cutting and increasing the government spending. So next policy we are looking is called monetary policy. Monetary policy is the policy of the central bank. We also call the state bank. On the other hand, likely the money or the mechanism which the money supply to and circulate in an economy, interest rate being changed in have an implication for the business activity. Lower interest rate encourage the firms to invest at the cost of borrowing fall. Related to the public revenue, taxation, and public spending, debt, and finances, but in the monetary policy is related to the supply and demand of the money. So, policy stability, supply of money, economic activities, interest rate, and the policy of the central bank. So, these all is leads to the okay. Next, we'll see their government spending figures in different years. And we'll see next graph is going what the fiscal and monetary policy differences. So please guys go through these that will help us to clear the concept. So fiscal policy is a federal government, is what we call central government. Monetary policy is managing money supply, influence the interest rate. What is the base rate now in UK? What is the base rate? Base rate we mean the basic interest rate of the central bank or all economic activities is linked with the base rate. When the base rate increases, it means the when we borrow the money from the bank in the higher interest rate, it means the borrowing cost will increase. Increase. And ultimately, there will be a lot of money going towards interest, you know, towards the bank. Or uh, we need to be look around. This is the base rate increase, and um, the low interest rate will boost the economy because people not prefer to be deposit their money in their bank's account. People prefer to be invest money in the businesses. Ultimately, the business activities will boost, and uh, but the low interest rate is pensioner they want to be because they don't want to be invest in the business they want to be keep the money in the banks so that's all you know the concerns uh, benefit are disadvantages and disadvantages of each you know policies or each action we have the government uh, send, uh, the state bank also increase and decrease the reserve of the commercial bank all the commercial bank the money we deposit in the bank that going back to the central bank because central bank have a some reserve of the commercial bank. So then the commercial bank not re borrow the money and not giving loan to the public uh, all the money. First of all, if you deposit 100 pounds in a bank, the 100 pounds the, uh, the commercial bank not lend it out. They lend it out maybe 60, 80 percent because 20 to 40 percent reserve need to be maintained with the central bank, which we also call the state bank in other part of the world. So this the mechanism will help, you know, in case of the commercial bank default. So at least, you know, some reserve with the central bank and the central bank have a guarantee and giving license that their money, public money is secure with the commercial bank. Okay, anybody, any question, guys? If any question, drop me email or because, of course, you know, fiscal policy is based on the theories of uh, British economist and also known as the Canadian economics. That's all about tax levels and things which will go to government spending. So, okay, if we'll see the real GDP, unemployment rate, inflation, and selected in the Middle Eastern countries, 2010, Egypt, real GDP, and then Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. We'll see unemployment. You'll see there is unemployment is quite, you know, 10%, 10.8% unemployment rate in the Saudi Arabia, which is quite, you know, known as a quite a rich country in terms of oil and thing. But look around the unemployment figures. So this is the alarming inflation. Yes, is a 4.1% that was in 2010. And uh, we can find later figures if you just log on World Bank data and you can find any company, any figures there. For your assignment purposes, you can include these and ultimately these impact on the businesses. So when we want to decide or we want to in, go in other part of the world to do a business, so we need to be focused on these points, you know, monitoring economics um, environment is quite crucial. We need to monitor. If we monitor it, that's quite good, you know. Monitoring economic environment leads to the higher uh, sustainability for the business in a point of view as well. Let's will go through next. Anybody, any question? If you have, drop me email, please. 
So next we're looking. Okay, when we're looking the economics environment consists of the organization and sold when looking the national economy, we're looking in terms of um, Yes, a simplified national economy consists of the organization and a household. Organization need inputs imply from employees which they take from and then to return the organization provide output wages and the household then use the income to buy the product. That is economic cycle. So if disposable income in your one point disposable income propensity to save propensity to consume it means the chain in the income normally when the income increase individual income of the people the people not spend all the money people have uh, some people can save it you know consumer can save some money or employees can save some money and that money can be used some extra and these these will ultimately you know is good for the economy so the maintain the concern um, and elected government is achievement of economic growth, maintain the employment level, reducing unemployment, controlling inflation, achieving a balance of payment, balance of payment in terms of the import and export of the country. That's always, you know, the uh, the new government always make the promises and they reflect in terms of their manifesto. The flow of uh, anybody any question flow of money can be affected by other monies injected into the flow from export goods government spending and investment. Flow of money it can also affect by the money being taken out of the flow through the saving buying and imported goods and increase the taxes. Controlling inflation, the government has some control over these flow of the money, such as control of inflation, which is calculated by the mirroring the chain in the retail price index. Any increase in the average price index, the government can track and take the measures to control the spending. High level of demand for the product and the services mean the organization have to take on more implies and this turn mean that they have an increase in the price in order to pay the wages and this is referred to as a demand pull inflation. Demand pull because due to the demand that the inflation is high and other type of inflation we can call cost pull, pull inflation. So demand pull and cost push however the prices increase implies need more money to be able to continue buying the product and the services therefore they require to pay uh, increase and which increase the pay ultimately increase the cost of the business and this type of inflation is called cost push inflation Okay, controlling government try to control inflammation through the manipulate interest rate. Higher interest rate means those with the mortgage and the credit need to pay more and have a less to spend. And what happened to the interest rate in the UK and what effect has the housing market? Of course, demand will be lower when higher interest rate controlling level of employment. Government aim to keep as many as the population of working age as possible in employment and this can is a difficult due to the number of factors such as a mismatch of skills and ability peaks and throughs in demand levels unreasonable wages demand so we can do activity when we want to look around any organization any country really we want to be do the business so we can look around inflation rate gdp rate per capita income unemployment rate interest rate which is the base interest balance of payment if you go on the website please world bank data we can find these figures so next we're looking the business cycle business cycle of course you know it is important to recognize the output from the national economy don't rise or fall at the a uniform rate and the economy's only experience at a cycle where the rate of growth for the 
production income and spending fluctuate over the time so the cycle of the business can be boom depression it means slum economy recession and recovery these are the four stages of the business cycle recession occurred due to the fall in the national output which leads to the reduction in employment disposable income and the profit when the gdp reach at the lowest point at the end of the recession economies reach a throw and this is signal that the recovery is imminent so then recessions key declining the demand for the national output rising unemployment shortfall in the business confidence and profit and reduce inflationary pressures and falling the demand for the imports and increase the government borrowing at the lower interest rate from the central bank then recovery so all these are the different stages guys please go through these slides that will help you to clear for the your concept i'm not reading all the slides but that will help you these are the stages boom is of course you know high level of consumer spending business confidence can be high the boom stage boom 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 yes so it's quite good for the depression is slow down the economy occur when the rate of growth decelerate and but the national output is still rising and that could be you know leads to this so we need to look around why depression very weak you know consumer spending many businesses failure rapid rising unemployment and the prices may be start falling and the deflation right has happened in the past year so when we have a deflation in the economy the trust consumer uh, the trust of the businesses because they are losing money of course they can uh, to close their businesses and uh, chaining the industries of taking out the investment from the business so meeting the economic growth and decline economic growth and decline gross domestic product employment levels business output levels average earning levels disposable income all these you know the key indicators towards okay uh, of course you can do in groups we not doing class based learning but that task you know we can complete our own in your group develop an analysis of the economic sector impacting the tesco tesco is one of the uh, big uh, uk supermarket is selling different type of have a quite a world presence in international uh, businesses as well they have an operation in various country like india and china and rest of the world so um, uh, it's already i uploaded the case study during lesson 1 as well which is quite good to look around when you do the less lo2 as well mckens food uh, the case study is quite good to go through in detail that will help you to clear your concept okay uh, abc business is activity by using the activity look on the facts and figures so just either abc expand the business or not in the uk so i have a uh, i have set up activity for you with some facts and figures and uh, you just follow the model and uh, if you look the model that's uh, facts and figure like you know gdp in uk in unemployment in uk so then you can on the basis of this you can suggest if the abc limited need to be invest the money in the uk or not based on your own economic situation because some people are some business they are take high risk you know maybe think or even is a slow economy they can still you know like in uh, recession 2008 to 10 you know like uh, pound land and veg supermarket their growth rate was higher than the big supermarket so that maybe as a business person we are taking higher risk in business we say higher risk mean higher reward so that's we it's as a business individual decision can we make so please look around this document all the uh, abc limited i put it there allow to is this activity you can and use some facts and figure if you want to embed within your assignment you can do so as well so next uh, this is the quiz normally i do quiz end of the lesson so this is the quiz which really quite good you just copy the link and go through and the end of you know the quiz you can view it and you will find all the answer if you went wrong 
and uh, just think about that will clear your monetary policy fiscal policy and uh, economic situation or economic factor if you want to be further enhance your understanding or you have any questions so please drop me emails uh, and uh, if you want to further understand uh, enhance your understanding in terms of the business environment, economic sectors. Please do not uh, hesitate to drop an email. Plus, you go through all these, you know, the website, those are quite good, you know, quite useful to enhance further our understanding about uh, business and economics environment. So, next, I'll quick, you know, show you. Uh, LO2 and we'll pick you know the points you know which we can discuss so we discuss about monetary and fiscal policy interest rate quantitative easing and these are things you know all come under economic situation Co competitive policies choosing organization how many competitors we have what type of the environment we are doing business and if we don't bring the innovation of course will be very hard to sustain in a business think about the nokia phone is not anymore it used to be world leading brand why not because that's why due to the innovation research and development cost was cut off and the ceo of the company that decision leads to the nokia out of the business so we need to think about and we are making the decision economics have a short term as a long term consequences as well for the organization so competition in the market, we look and look around, improve the market, contribution to efficiency. Contribution normally we call selling price minus variable cost. You know, what is a contribution as a contribution to efficiency? We need to look around, you know, in some countries, implies productivity, the efficiency is higher than. So maybe we need to think about how we can improve, you know, provide the training and things as well to our employees. So four pillar of the competition policies in the UK, European Union, uh, of course, you know, cartel is uh, illegal. In some countries, the companies come together, they can fix the price. That's it called the cartel. Cartel is illegal in, in terms of the competition commission. So they fix it. You charge same price, I'll charge same price. You do in this area, I'll do in another area. That's called cartel. So cartel is uh, illegal. Market liberalization. So market need to be liberalized. Yes, market forces control the price, not the individual. State aid control. Uh, yes, government can control, regulate the industry, but the market forces it can decide the price. Merger. Merger is mean two company come together and merge for the common purposes. Competition Act we have. That's the regulatory. So under the Competition Act, we not not allowed to fix the price. You know. So Enterprise Act 2000. Organization need to behave, behave and work with the best interest of the public. European Commission, EU legislation need to be followed in the UK and the rest part of the EU. Office of the Fair Trade, you know, the trade need to be fair. It need to be uh, not, you know, the fake good. Good need to be fit for purpose. If any question, any problem, if they uh, like, you know, in the past it happened, this the Tesco was selling strawberry. Actually, they advertised that strawberry price is 50% drop from £1.50, but actually they used to charge 80 pence instead of 75 pence because 50% of 150 is supposed to be 75 pence. Then, of course, that case went to, and then ultimately, money being fine and being, you know, that money being donated to the charity. So that's sort of, you know, we need to look around. Office of uh, gas electricity is called Austrian that's a regulator every industry in the UK have a watchdog watchdog mean the regulator office of the water uh, so that's is called off what uh, civil aviation authority they regulate the airline industries and civil avi aviation uh, private uh, airplanes and things so company act that regulate the companies enterprise training and skill policies Training and skill department, uh, education and skill DIS. So we need to look around all these, you know, their legislation. Those are the regulatory depends which industry we are. So always we need to be fine. Who is our regulators? What sort of the policy they have? We have to follow and the economic factor point of view. We need to look around the government. We need to look around the monetary policy of the country, fiscal policy of the country before entering or making, you know, business or deciding to be entering any other part of the country. 
okay anybody any questions so please so today factor we learn about the what is the difference between fiscal and monetary policy competition and uh, how the fiscal and policies monetary policies are different and uh, why those are crucial and we learn about the business cycle uh, different stages those are the four stages and we learn about some legislations as well so just drop me email have a nice time lesson will be available on Moodle and go through and start writing your assignment have a nice times and hope so speak to you next week bye bye